The decision to adopt is a big step. At Jewish Family and Community Services, we help make the adoption process an easier one. Here is Priscilla and Todd's story. Um, so Todd and I went through a couple years of infertility and as all couples who go through infertility do, you kind of start talking about adoption. Some friends of ours had told us about foster care and how they were fostering some little kids and I kind of decided, hey, we should sort of give back, you know, through this whole infertility process, we need to give back to the community and maybe help take care of some kids before we start the adoption process. It took a little bit of convincing, I think, because you hear all the stereotypes of how horrible it can be and um, how horrible the children can be. And I thought, oh, I can't be that bad. Let's just jump in both feet. <laughs> well, we weeks of, a um, couple months, I guess, of fostering, we got a call, said they had three, two little girls at the time that um, were up for adoption and needed a home and asked if we were interested in um, adopting. Um, I fell in love as soon as I saw him and um, I knew right away. I think he and I just needed to know that we were gonna be okay right. and that they were gonna be okay and that we could make this work. I think our story is unique because all of the girls come from the same biological mom um, and that forms a bond. I never knew um, that you could love more than he and I loved each other. Or, or even loving children that aren't biologically your own. Some people think, well, I can never love a, somebody else's child as much as I would love my own. Can you wait? At First Coast Adoption Professionals, we pride ourselves on being a small agency that works very closely one-on-one -on -one with not only the birth parents, but also the adoptive couples in trying to make this experience less overwhelming for them. The girls came to us through Jewish family and uh, Rebecca Margulies was their adoption worker and she is just a gem. She's so sweet and um, took what can be a daunting process of paperwork and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and made it seem short and quick and to the point and very easy. very easy. Through my time with Todd and Priscilla, I got to know them on a personal level and Priscilla and Todd shared with me their struggles. Just getting to see this adoption finalize was amazing. And Angela was uh, Abigail's caseworker through the process and she was on top of everything and I mean every question we gave her she had an answer for her. if she didn't she found an answer she was just um, wonderful to work with even even after the adoption she still stays in contact with the girls it's humbling every day every single day I sit back whether it's chaotic and all heck is breaking loose and everybody's screaming mommy at one time or whether it's an easy day where we're just playing and smooth sailing I sit back and go what would we have done without them they've just made us complete we're a family family JFCS placed 90 children in Forever Families last year. Oh.